today is Saturday the 21st of September and uh, I just woke up this is my first game today so yeah <laughs> anyways uh, today I want to talk to you about something very personal to me you know um, my last video I think it was on the 29th and I was in the mood of doing a bunch of videos and short clips and stuff and I was working on some on uh, Monday the second uh, my brother calls me around midnight that my dad's in the hospital so uh, it was uh, kind of confusing cuz well my dad was a migrant migrant worker he was working in North Texas I live in Central Texas my brother and the rest of the family lives in South Texas well except my sister my other sister lives in uh, in Houston anyways well the one in Houston she was getting all the information and she was sp spreading it out to my brother and my brother to my other sister and then me and it was kind of confusing because <laughs> we're all trying to get a hold of each other for more information and my dad's in North Texas anyways uh, so we made a plan that I was going to go pick up my, my mom halfway, bring her back here, and my brother-in-law would drive her all the way to North Texas to, to go with my dad to the hospital and stuff and be there. So uh, my brother-in-law tells me to go pick up his car because uh, his car gets better mileage and stuff. And I'm like, okay. I get there. My sister is on the phone with my other sister, the one from Houston. And... I saw it in her face, man. I saw it on her face when, when when she heard that dad had died. It's not a good feeling. So then my sister calls my mom, who's already on the way. I could just hear her crying and yeah. So like I've had I've known people that have died before, you know, friends and grandparents and but no one was close to me as my dad. You know, he was uh <laughs> he was a strict dad, he was a lights off before nine o'clock kind of guy and stuff but uh i loved him you know and he loved me and he would we would call each other you know i was once told that uh my family is uh, one of the rarest family there is because we're a close family we were always communicating with one another texting calling just to see what we're doing <laughs> No, not any specific reason. And okay. That doesn't happen a lot these days, I guess. So, yeah, my dad, we would text, he would call. <laughs> Most of our conversations lasted a minute just to see what we were doing and how's our things. But he never ended a conversation without telling me that he loved me. So... Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since we buried it, but it still hurts a lot. I still want to have that last talk with him, because I was supposed to call him. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to miss him, you know. Is that going to be easy? That's what everybody keeps telling me. And they tell me... Pain never goes away, but you learn to deal with it. And I guess me doing this video is uh, just that, you know, I'm trying to deal with it. I've been playing games, I just haven't felt the need to post anything. Since my dad died, and I guess I'm adapting. I don't know. Alright, guys, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll check you all later. Bye.